Hi there, Chris Colby, and I wanted to share a video with you with a problem I recently had at home in our new annex. So this is our annex. It's basically, it's a detached garage with an upstairs area that's been converted. There's also a little shower and then um, a little bit of storage area and downstairs is kitchen. But we have had squirrels. So the purpose of this video is basically to say, if you have squirrels entering your house, sort it out. It really is important that you sort it out. So we had first noticed there were some sounds coming from up in the ceiling about, so it was probably like, um, probably about two months ago now, we could hear the wandering around. Um, however, the way the ceiling is configured here, also, there's an absolutely no way to actually get up there. Excuse the cakes there, my wife uh, makes wedding cakes. Visit thecopperkitchen.co.uk. Sorry, shameless plug. But there's no way of getting up there. So we weren't able to lay any traps of any kind. We basically had to work out how they were getting in and block their access. So we did that. We managed to find it down the other side. There's a couple of corners they're potentially getting in. But the moral of the story is though, is we were kind of, we didn't leave it, but we didn't treat it with urgency. And because we didn't treat it with urgency, the squirrels have been inside. They've been feasting on the insulation. They've been nibbling away at the uh, roof joists. And they've also been nibbling away at electric cables. So we had the instance about two months ago where I came in, I switched the light on, tripped all the circuits. And the stuff on that side of the RCD unit, so that was the upstairs lights, the downstairs um, ring sockets, water heater, etc., would not go on. No matter what we could, they couldn't go on. So we had to get them fixed. So I just want to show you what our little friends, the squirrels, have been up to. Here we are. So this is just one example of a cable that we have taken out, completely nibbled. I've got another one here where you can see signs of all the nibbling. Hopefully that will focus, there you go. Nibbling all the way through. So that is one of the reasons why, but then the most shockingly of the lot, have a look at this down lighter. So we've got down lighters that go all the way across there. So this down lighter used to have a plastic cover over it. However, Mr. Squirrel, I don't know if it was Mr. or Mrs. Mr. Squirrel has got nibbled all that panelling off. You can see how they've nibbled through the earth cabling. You see the bit of the insulation caught in as well. They have just wrecked everything. So I've got this one here. Got another one there, exactly the same. Another one there, look at all that. You can, you can even see the screw that held the plastic um, cover over the top still in place, just, just there. Another one just there. This is the bathroom one, the sealed one, so I've had to change this one as well because that's gone, it's no longer waterproof. So yeah, they did quite a lot of damage. And in the end, we've had to, um, we basically rewired all of this section along here by passing new wire through the old wire. So actually in the middle of the lights, sort of that, that sort of area, there wasn't actually a huge amount of nibble marks. However, we had to do it just to be sure. And thankfully they didn't start nibbling on the fire alarm cable that's connected with downstairs because that would have been um, really annoying. Um, but as a result, we've had to sort of cut a few holes. So I've just patched these up now. I thought I'd do the video uh, for you now these are being patched up but even if we go into the shower room here you can see that's a bit of a bodge patch job at the moment but i shall sand that down and do a second layer along with that one as well so yeah they didn't have caused some problems um i mean i also have got little little holes in the uh wall there because i basically just had to run an extension lead to downstairs because we've actually got our washing machine downstairs so moral of the story if you hear scurrying around in your roof space get it sorted as soon as possible. Don't let it wait at all. So I've learned the hard way. Thankfully though, um, basically to, to rectify, it's taken a few hours of my time and my father-in-law's kindly helps well, but it's cost about 80, 90 quid just to sort, just to get a new bit of cable and some new down lights. But thought I'd share that with you.
And as I said, here wrestling, get it sorted. Have a great day.